Okay, good morning from a sunny the overcast Preston. I'll just uh, talk you through some of the things that's happened since the last video. We buried the pipes. Uh, can't seem to get hold of any uh, plastic ivy screen in it. Uh, whether people have been building bars in the gardens and using it to cover part of that, I don't know. Seems to be a shortage. But follow me and I'll show you where we're up to. Really pleased with the, the way the backy shower turned out. And considering I got all those trays for free, I got all the uh, perspex for free. So all I had to buy is the silicon. Now, we did have a problem with the bottom tier. If you remember in the last video, I put uh, some Japanese matting to stop the pumice coming down the pipe but because we had pumice in the bottom chamber in the bottom tier it was filling up the water was struggling to get past the pumice and out of the pipe so we've now removed the pumice completely from the bottom chamber so all, all that's doing is sending water down the pipe but we've not lost any surface area because we've just redistributed the pumice into the other tiers. Put Japanese matting on top, as I mentioned I would. And Barbara has made covers for the tempests to stop them going green with algae. So she got an old, well not an old, she bought a suit carrier, the ones that, that you put suit on a coat hanger in a bag cut them to pieces, sewed some velcro to, and there you go, so that they're not going to be completely covered with algae. And to be honest, considering these are going to be hidden, the friendly bacteria that are going to colonate these uh, pumice stones will do the same job as if I'd have spent £500 on a backy shower. So considering it's not going to be shown, it's going to be covered up, really pleased. So as you can see, the uh, two inch return pipes are as we outlined in the last video. I said I was going to knock a couple of stones out, rocks and set the pipe into the side of the stonework and the other two inch pipe is built in to the stonework at the top of the waterfall. Although I couldn't get any ivy screening, I did manage to get hold of this stuff, which is more of a garland, but uh, three pound a bag. So I will be wrapping that round and twining it around any pipes that are showing and then when I can get hold of the uh, plastic screening that will go at the side of the backy trays ok it's a nice sunny Tuesday afternoon I've just cut the grass and I showed you some garlands that we bought I've now hidden the pipe that comes from the backy shower and into the waterfall with that garland. I did mention that everywhere had sold out of the uh, the plastic ivy. So Barbara had a brainwave and put it plastic ivy into the uh, marketplace on Facebook, and lo and behold, somebody was selling some for a fiver. So we messaged to say how how much. You of it is there and they put lots so we had a trip out to Clitheroe first thing this morning uh, which is a village just on the outskirts of Preston picked it up for a fiver and this is what we got all that and all that so we're back in business I'll be able to uh, 
put me the back of shower with that. I'm off work till Friday. So here we go. Yeah guys, the uh, fake ivy's now on. Hiding the back of shower. I'll just walk around and see how visible you think it is. I'll walk up there and show you how I've hid the uh, tempest. I've obviously had to make the stuff that covers the tempest removable. So I've put a couple of screws in the top of this post so I can just unhook it. Move it away, sort the tempest out, and then just hook it back on. The other side I've done slightly differently, I'll go and take you across. I put this right across so it covers both the backy shower and the tempest. And Put a couple of screws in the trunk of this tree so that I can just unhook it and fold it back to clean that tempest. So that's it, job done. All the pipes are hidden, and so are the filters. Okay guys, that's it, job done. The Cetus sieve, the pump and the UV are covered with AstroTurf, an AstroTurf lid that's over the filter pit. So that's, you can't see it. And because of the amount of ivy that are growing up these dumps. The plastic ivy just blends in nicely and covers this wacky shower. So happy days. So the next video I'm, I'm going to do about uh, show how to clean the Cetus and how quick it is and also cleaning the Tempest and how quick it is and the method I use. Uh, I put, a, I put a, a pipe from the sump that I can just plug my hoover in into. It takes literally minutes. So a massive change from having to climb down that filter pit and start taking the brushes out and everything. So if you're enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get a reminder when I put a new video on. Uh, I only launched this channel a couple of weeks ago and I've got uh, 85 subscribers, 86 subscribers uh, already. So let's try and get it to 100. So if you're watching these videos, and you're not you've not actually subscribed please subscribe and support the channel so thanks for watching pomfrit's pond